Greetings, Internet. Today we are going to play... Donkey Kong, an arcade classic on our Game Boys. Notice that we now have a file saving screen. This is very important for a game known for only having four screens. Clearly it will be far too difficult to finish in one sitting. And yes, our girlfriend was stolen by a monkey. Isn't that great? Why do these things always happen to me? I don't know, but this is the truth. My situation in life sucks. Because things like this keep happening. Is it because I'm a bad person? I don't know. And rather than taking her, we stand and watch as Donkey Kong runs off with her yet again. That will be a recurring theme in this game. So you might as well get used to it now. This, I find, is actually the hardest of the, uh... first set of levels. Until you finish and they start repeating, of course, and become harder. Luckily, I lucked out and the two fire guys both started on the same side. Usually they don't. 75 meters. And now we have to rely on Mario's jumping skills. That cannot be a good thing. Mario has never been known for his ability to jump. Whatever will we do? What the hell are those things he's throwing at us, anyway? Are those jacks? Springboards? Come on, fire thing. Get away from the one-up. Yeah, you... Oh, there we go. We need all the one-ups we can get. Lives are very important, because I do not have one of my own. Goddamn monkey. It's like the story of King Kong, if King Kong was defeated by a plumber. I guess I mean there's nothing like King Kong at all. Anyways, let's finish this. Uh-oh. Fiery dudes. Fiery dudes need to die. Because I say they need to die. And now I need to wait for this hammer to go away. Why? Because I say I do, that's why. Deal with it. And we have won the game. Isn't that great? And they all lived happily ever after. Oh wait! Something has happened! Yes, I have been fucking with you this entire time. The Game Boy game is very different from the original arcade game because of what you're seeing right now. And this is our new gimmick. We have to get keys to open locked doors to get through levels. Hooray! Thank you for demonstrating that for us, Mario. I would have been lost without your guidance. And we get one-ups because I am awesome. As you might be able to guess, one-ups are not going to be an issue in this game. I will have so many lives by the end that it will be completely stupid. So let's get going. Uh, let's show off our new abilities. We can pick things up and throw them at our enemies. We can do this fruity little number and do a handstand, which can then turn into... Oops, I fucked it up. Which can then turn into... A triple jump. We can grab hammers, but more importantly, we can throw hammers so we don't have to deal with the fact that we can't move without while we're holding them. And the most important maneuver of all, well, not really, but the most fun maneuver of them all, we can do backflips. Just like in Super Mario 64. In fact, this adventure seems to be where Mario learned most of his tricks for Super Mario 64. And this is the other reason why 1-Ups will not be a problem in this game. There are lots of bonus stages that give you that give you extra lives. As well as getting extra lives every time you've defeated Donkey Kong. 
as well as extra lives that are just sitting around the levels. It takes serious effort to die in this game. There are a few more tricks, and I'll demonstrate them as we get to them, like this one right here. We can move across wires and swing on them to jump. That's not important now, but in later levels it will be used a lot, to the point where it's really annoying if you're not very good at it. The mice, I do not believe, will kill us if we touch the front of them, but they will push us off the ledges, which could kill us. We can also ride them. Riding enemies becomes important later as well. And fire is always instant death. Let's see if I can get something better than one life this time. Woo! Nope. Yeah, we're f six levels in, and uh, I already have 12 lives. I may just be too good at this game, but I am awesome all around. And you can't tell me that I'm not. Well, you can, and you probably will, now that I said that. But you know what? I don't care what you think. What do you say to that, huh? Huh? Come on. What do you got to say to that, smart guy? That's what I thought. Because I can't hear you. You are just text on the internet to me. But, uh... We get cutscenes after every boss level, the first of which is coming next, and they proceed to show us, uh... some of the new stuff. Usually the, usually the uh, predominating feature of the next set of levels. But first, we have to fight Donkey Kong. Fight is kind of a misnomer, though. It's an exercise in not getting killed. And the fact that his jumping will stun you, which sucks. Getting hit on the head by any of these objects is death. Woo! You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man! Well, I'm the fat Italian plumber man. Whoa! See? I am invincible. Doing. Movie time! What is our new feature? Aside from Donkey Kong's smug-ass grin? We can create temporary platforms. And we're going to be doing a lot of that for pretty much the rest of the game. I think eight levels makes a good introductory video. So, come on back next time, where we will continue our quest to defeat a monkey and save our woman. Later.